Hi, this is Ken from Origin Lab. In Origin 2015, you could only divide grouped plots into subgroups by their relative size, presenting significant problems for unbalanced data. By contrast, in Origin 2016, you can specify subgroups of a plot by their column label rows. In this example, we'll be showing you how to divide grouped plots in a scatter plot showing data from a series of sensors. To modify the subgroups of this graph, double-click the plot to open the Plot Details dialog. Then, in the Group tab, set subgrouping by column label. If you choose within subgroup, symbol colors and types will increment within a subgroup. If you choose between subgroups, symbol colors and types will be the same within one group. This also applies to grouped plots with indexed data. That is to say, a grouped box chart with different regions and indices. After plotting, an output sheet is created with transformed data for this chart. Here, you can see region and index column label rows. Now double-click the plot to open the Plot Details dialog. In the Group tab, you can change what column label row is used for subgrouping. By default, box plots have no fill color, so we need to set box color by 1 so that it can be controlled by a subgroup. Click the ellipses button to define your color increment list. To make this change, simply click Apply, and that's how you can specify subgroups of a plot by their column label rows.